Denver 7 Now is sponsored by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Shannon Ogden with this Denver 7 Now update. The younger of the STEM school shooting suspects will be tried as an adult. The judge released that decision today following a late week-long hearing. He faces dozens of charges and will likely spend the rest of his life in prison if convicted for the murder of Kendra Castillo. It'll likely be February before we know how effective this year's flu vaccine will be or how hard the virus is going to hit. And that was the big takeaway from today's congressional panel, chaired in fact by Colorado's Diana DeGette. Colorado has now more than 150 cases reported of influenza. And word of warning to anybody who lives in the path of Buckley Air Force Base, it's going to get loud. F-16s will be conducting night flight missions starting this week. That training will continue for the next several months. Flights may go as late as 10 p.m. Don't say you weren't warned. All right, from the First Alert Weather Center, let's take a look at the seven-day forecast. After a relatively calm period, we got a couple of days of patchy snow, light snow on Thursday, a couple of knockouts there, and then more snow comes to round out the end of the weekend. Thank you for watching this Denver 7 Now update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone. It gives you breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Shannon Ogden.